Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I genuinely hope you like this new way of me doing the updates rather than sat in the studio all the time. I get to listen to the birds and it's just so much more relaxing, not to mention so much cooler. Okay, so DJI have given us a new app version 1.6.8 and that of course covers a whole host of DJI drones. And whilst on the face of it, it may look like all this app update is to do is to enable a load of added features for the DJI Mini 3 Pro and whilst that may be technically correct even though it doesn't actually state there is anything new for the rest of us using drones such as the DJI Mini 2, the Mavic Mini, the Mini SE, the Air 2S for example, there has been quite a decent change made to a key function of the Fly app which I'm going to show you in this video. So I have been out flying the DJI Mini 2 uh, to test this app version to make sure that everything is working as it should. I've also flown the DJI Mavic Mini and I can confirm that there's been nothing new with that one and I have I've had the DJI Air 2S on the bench as well, but I've not actually done a flight with that yet. But ultimately, I'm not expecting to see any changes when it comes to those other two drones. So what I'm going to do is, because there is a couple of known um, issues in the DJI flight app with this drone, I've been out flying the DJI Mini 2 to bring you this update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll that footage now, and you can see exactly what's new, including one really, really cool new feature. And let's just see if any of the previous issues on this drone have been fixed, and overall, how well the app performs. So let's roll the footage. Right then guys, so welcome to the flight with the DJI Mini 2. Now this is 60% uh, remaining of my third battery. So I've been flying quite some bit to test out uh, this app and this drone combination. So what I'm going to do is just quickly flip through the options. Okay, if we pop back to safety, um, I have gone through all of these and noticed nothing different if I'm perfectly honest with you. Controls are just the same. Uh, we do have a long-standing issue with the advanced gimbal settings on a Mini 2 where for some reason if you adjust these parameters for the your rotation speed and smoothness they do not reset. I'm not entirely sure why that is but it doesn't reset whatsoever. So that is one thing. One thing they did actually fix in the last one is this uh, unit uh, wasn't actually highlighting and now it is and that's still remaining absolutely fine as i say going through all the menus and settings nothing seems to be different within here okay interesting that it's using a 2.4 band in this area and of course with a mini 2 i am using the dji rc m1 and just to check one 5.0000 is the firmware and of course 1.6.8 is the DJI Fly app. Now looking through all the menus as I say everything is exactly the same as it should be. Uh, nothing absolutely new here. Um, now I have done some testing already and I can confirm the quick shots do select absolutely fine. Uh, no problems there. We both get the arrow and of course I can draw a box on my device so I've got no worries with that one. But of course let's talk about something that is new new okay for the dji mini 2 and if i can just draw your attention to the compass in the left hand corner you can see that has now changed if i go from left to right you can see the attitude indicator is now green uh, and it shows slightly differently now i must admit i don't actually like this as much as the previous one in white um, i think it's quite unclear to see um, but uh, it is what it is. You will also notice that the green dot indicating our home point is now much bigger. Now if I turn from the left to the right, you can see that that is much more prominent when you are pointing the controller efficiently towards the drone to maximize signal. Previously, we just had that little green arrow at the top, but now the full thing lights up green and goes to blue if you are not. Uh, what is also cool, uh, this is new as well, so at the minute, this is the view where you're actually used to, so the drone is in the middle. What we can do now is switch that up and press this button here in the corner, and it actually reverses it. We have now got the controller point in the middle, and the drone is far away, okay? So it just depends on personal preference, which you prefer. For me, I would rather keep the drone in the center, um, but that's just my own choice. But of course, if we do switch this up, uh, you will see that as I go flying out to put it in sport mode, it does change and that indicator showing green does make it much easier to make sure you are pointing the uh, controller at the drone to maximize signal as I've just said uh, but overall um, apart from it taking quite some time to get some satellite lock I've noticed no real problem you can see if we just switch that up 
I do prefer to just use it that way and put the drone in the middle. That's my own personal preference. Signal, I've noticed nothing really different. Uh, return to home, let's do a quick return to home test. So let's just get some decent distance out, a couple of hundred meters. And like I say, even though we're on 2.4, let me just check that, 2.4. No, we switched it to 5.8 now. Oh, no, there we go. Back to 2.4, 5.8. Ah, that's really confusing. 2.4 again. Never mind. Either way, that's OkiSync. That's what OkiSync does. It switches between 5.8 and 2.4 to maximize signal. Okay, so I would expect it to be on around 2.4, given the fact that we are at 90 meters. We should be sort of near enough out the uh, interference zone here. Um, so that's quite interesting is if we click return to home okay i'm pretty sure they wasn't there before where you actually get a little uh, description of what each option does but of course we are always going to select return to home um or well, i am anyway because i go home to do so let's bring the drone back and let's uh come up with the conclusion Right then, so now you have seen all of that, and as far as I'm concerned, this app is completely and utterly perfectly fine and safe to install. I'm genuinely hoping it fixes some of the issues some of you have been having, selecting quick shots. Obviously, it's very difficult for me to comment on certain things that I'm not actually experiencing myself. My device uh, is f selecting quick shots, as you can see, absolutely perfectly fine, okay, um, both allowing me to draw the box, and of course, uh, it's selecting me as a target as well, so it's difficult for me to say um, whether it's going to fix it for you all I can show is what my findings are and that is everything is working as it should as you saw the little gimbal rotation speed or the aircraft rotation speed setting still doesn't work I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't but if you have installed this update 1.6.8 and something isn't quite working or it's not quite compatible with your device uh, and you want to go back to an older version you can easily do so because I personally host all of the old Android APK files in my Google Drive which you can find in the video description to this video uh, where you can go and choose whichever one you wish or go back to the last one you had working so that's just a handy resource uh, for those android users there but overall thank you very much for watching don't forget to give this a thumbs up subscribe if you're awesome and until next time see you again soon